Hi. Hello, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And um, I'm not really expecting to get a video out of this. This camera is just about gone at this point. But I thought that I would go ahead and show you what I've done. And who knows, maybe I might get one last video out of this one. But who knows. So um, right now, as far as my base, I have the Pretty Fresh uh, foundation. And this one's in Fair 30. And a little bit of the Soul Face and Body. And this one, it Bronzer in Fair. So I mixed a little bit of that in there. And, um, let me see, as far as what I did for a blush, I did the uh, cookie, and this one is crushing. Yeah, it's crushing. And these are just so pretty. They have the um, imprints in them, and they're, um, they go from light to dark, and they're just really pretty. And as far as what else I have on, I have the bronzer, the Get Sandy, and this one is from ColourPop, and that's what I have on as far as uh, my bronzer there. I do have the Clay It Cool on as far as the eyeshadows, and this is from ColourPop. It's one of their, um, I consider the whole series of, they're all based on stone or earth or the color of earth so yeah and this one is clay it cool this would definitely be the one you want to go to um to get either yeah you could you can get a rosy on here but this one i think leans more bronze um there are these two well actually these three colors down here on the bottom um they do have a red undertone, but I think everything sort of leans bronzy, or at least that's what it's doing for me. And I went ahead and used this one as my base, this one on the inner corner, this one on my lid, and this one right on my brow bone. So that's the way that I did that. And then I was going to go ahead and show you um, the other palettes from this line. Um, I think this is a really good everyday going to work sort of needing to um, go ahead and have everything. Yeah, no, no, came out quite even today. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, sidetrack, tangent, um, <sighs> and a cold. But um, this is going to be the Twist of Slate. This one is their Cool Tone Palette. And all of these have 10 eyeshadows. And the whole bottom row is mattes. And uh, they all have one cream shadow in them as well. This one, the cream is right here. And then the other one that they have is Set in Stone, which is this one. And again, for going to work, um, this one is brown, definitely leans gold, so yeah. And with these, uh, they're just really easy in the morning. I mean, this one, if you're doing gold or brown, you, you know, a look or, you know, your outfit is gold or brown, do this one. If you're going with a blue or a gray look, use this one. If you're going with a bronze or, you know, rosy look, go with this one. And personally, I think they should do some more of these because first thing in the morning, if I'm just running to get things going, I'm going to want something like this where I know I have 10 colors. I know I have uh, shimmers to go with my mattes and it just makes everything really easy in the morning. So, uh, good job. ColourPop, come out with some more. I wouldn't mind it. And um, let's see. Again, I'm checking out this hairstyle. And yes, I am doing my own. And yes, I did um, I did the wolf cut. And that looked really good. Um, I'm kind of sad that I didn't stay there. But I went to the hairdresser's to go ahead and make sure that it was, you know, connected and everything, uh, or 
didn't have anything weird going on in the back and I um, I got an A-line and they were so nice they were so nice and they really listened to me and I asked for it and then it didn't really work and it has before and I don't know why it didn't this time um, if you don't know I have very coarse hair very thick hair and you know I'm one of those people that they always said go to the hairdresser just go to the hairdresser just you know it's too much for one person just go and so um, I did and like I said they were wonderful with me and I got my A-line and I came home and I didn't like it too much so I went ahead and took all of the bulk off of here that was on there and I took Brad Mondo's advice finally and I got some shearing scissors and I think the wolf cut and some shearing scissors would have been a great look um, but now that I've gone back to my longer bob a-line mix kind of thing these came in so handy and they are amazing I got them over their Kula and that's a brand and I got them on Amazon and they were seven dollars and fifty cents and I know that with hair cutting stuff scissors probably not the right term they can go like hundreds of dollars right so I got this and I've been having the best time and it's all because you know it's my hair is so thick and curly and coarse that it was always you know don't do it <laughs> and I'm having a great time so um and I go through this I mean um having the longer hair I haven't had that since I was like nine years old and it was really fun but it's very heavy and you can actually feel yourself kind of going like that and so um, now that I have layers and I thinned it out and I have some big